Win. Yeah, they're hard to come by, obviously, on the road, so uh, we'll take it however we can get it. But, you know, both teams both teams fighting hard for their first conference victory, and uh, we were fortunate enough to make, make enough plays today and, and come out with the victory. So really proud of our guys. We, we played five games in the month of September. We talked about, obviously, our record was not what we wanted to be. Our results weren't, were not what our expectations are. And October's got to be a big month for our program. Uh, we got three games in the month of October, and obviously uh, we're 2-0 and right now, and set ourselves up for a chance to go 3-0 in the month. So we got every opportunity ahead of us as a program. Not a lot of one-score games get held up by a defense. You get scored, and next thing you know, the defense makes one touchdown hold up. What did you see from your defense today, and maybe what's maybe changed with your preparations with uh, the defense this week? I don't think really anything changed preparation-wise. I mean, we got a lot of competitors on that side of the ball. We got a lot of competitors on our program. Uh, you know, we, we've seen the stats. We know the results were not, uh, you know, up to our status satisfactory level and so uh, they went to work during a bye week right I mean that's what you do there ain't, there ain't no magic formula you, you put in the work and you show up every day for practice and you take a critical eye at, at situations that you failed to perform and then you go about correcting them and so I give all the credit to those guys for really being being man enough to to take coaching during a bye week and last week and actually put it to good use and then go out and now they see the fruits of their labor. What do you, you think of Mike's play today, kind of stepping in there as a starting quarterback? Well, I gotta go, go watch the film. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we had a touchdown, long touchdown run of his taken off the board because they call it legal blindside block. Uh, now they had a touchdown taken off the board as well for a penalty. So really kind of, you know, one for one there for both teams. Um, but obviously he, he managed the game well enough. Uh, we're gonna have to obviously find a way to create some, some more plays in the pass game to convert some third downs and, and, and keep the ball going down the field because ultimately this game is uh, decided with points and, and there's a reason you don't see too many 7-3 games anymore, right? Uh, offenses are, are scoring points, so we, we know we're going to have to play better than this if we want to continue to win games, but uh, winning, winning's always good. Winning's always good, so those guys, they've put in the work over the last two weeks. They deserve to to celebrate this one and enjoy their first conference win. How did you feel he sort of rebounded after that interception? I guess maybe his experience playing to being able to push that aside and, and keep going that far. Oh, he's played enough football to know that he gets kind of double clutched on a little bit when you're throwing a whole shot in there, kind of versus a cover two look or a palms coverage. You know, you got to you got to trust your first instinct and rip it in there. That safety will have a chance. And, uh, so he knows he's just a little late on it, but I mean, he's a football player. He's, he's been, every quarterback's thrown an interception before. You know, you got to you got to move on and play the next play. Before the uh, big catch from Justin Robinson, there was a segment there where you had an illegal snap and you had two false starts. What happened in that sequence based on your vantage point? Well, you know, I think they were they were stemming down there on the goal line and getting into to different looks. And obviously, you, those always require a move call. And so sometimes when you're playing on a road in a noisy stadium, you know, and you're, depending on what your cadence sounds like and what the calls are, you know, obviously we just failed to execute there. I know someone asked me earlier this week about being the least penalized team, and I said we'll find out. Now we're now we're on the road in a hostile environment, and they had a heck of a crowd here today. And you're down there in a backed up situation, and so uh, they did a nice job of, of situationally getting some stem and move calls. And obviously we got something we need to work on and improve upon because we'll see that for the rest of the season. Arkansas's offensive line, you brought your points, and they went to the second half with not just linemen, double tight ends, blocking backs, and you were still able to control the run game. What does it say about your defensive front linebackers? Well, obviously, you know, I think I said it, we were not able to play kind of our normal defense on those last couple games there before the bye week uh, just because of some attrition, some guys being unavailable to go. So to get, to get the bye week in there, to get them back healthy, uh, kind of refresh, freshen up the guys like Crumity and Pickering who are playing more snaps than you'd like for big interior guys to have to play in some of those games. Uh, we utilized the Byrick the right way, and they came out and executed. They know, I mean, Arkansas, you don't have to watch them on film very long to know how physical they are and how hard they play. I mean, Coach Pittman has done a phenomenal job here. He's done a phenomenal job. And so we knew we were going to have to get ready for a physical game because you got to be able to stop the run. So our guys went to the challenge. Now, now that this one's about, you know, how hard it is to, to bring out a guy like KJ Jefferson, what did you think of the way your defense was kind of able to contain him and, and get him down when they did wrap him up? All right, we missed him a few times. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough to stop him. Uh, you know, obviously, he's a little bit more athletic than some of the other guys we've seen today. Obviously, he's going to have to get better at that. But he was playing most of the second half with a bloody nose. I think it was after a hit on KJ. Uh, but no, we did a good job of, of limiting his yards and scramble situations or the quarterback design runs. Uh, he's going to get his, obviously, because he's just such a special player. But again, I think our guys knew that if you're going to slow down that offense right there, you got to start by slowing down that quarterback. And 
I think they were excited for the challenge. Now, now this, that this one's over, when did you know after after the Western Michigan game that Mike was going to have to start today? Oh, that that's been a hard long evaluation through the week, and when Will's week to week, like we said, I think uh, the entire time. And so we'll continue our evaluations next week, and and we'll see who's available to go. You talked about a minimum on Monday and how big it would be to start off the second half of the season with a win. Now that you have it, can you put into words just how much, I guess, the, the breath of fresh air puts in the, in the boost of energy gives your guys going into another week? Well, I just think I think kind of going back to what I said earlier, right? I think we think we are we played on the last day of September there against Alabama. I think we're put it or. At two and three, and right, we talk about hey, October's gonna be a huge month. If we want to achieve the things we want to achieve as a program, October's gonna be a critical month. So it starts by going one in October. We were able to take care of that. Then we had the bye week, used it accordingly. Well, we gotta go two in October. Guys, guys just accomplished that. So now we got one more game here in the month of October, and it's a big one. It's the most important game on our schedule up to this point. Uh, and so Hopefully our guys will be excited to uh, finish out the month. It seemed like, especially in that first half, defense was winning on first down, kind of getting them behind the chains. They had the one sustained drive in the second half, and it seemed like they started to win on first down, and lo and behold, you guys get the stop there. Was that a point of emphasis to try to get them behind the chains early and maybe take some risk with those run blitz? I think you talk to any defensive coach, uh, it's a lot easier to call defense when you're getting teams in second and long, right? Second and four is a miserable down and distance to call defense. Uh, it gets even more miserable shortly from there. So, uh, yeah, I think our guys did a good job of, you know, now you can't just play all out aggressive zero coverage in those down distance because you open yourself up for a lot more explosive plays. There's times where you got to be able to play coverage, rush four, hold up to the run, and, you know, take away throws. And there's times where you got to be able to play man. For the most part, our guys did a really good job of executing the game plan today. Great, great job. Uh, credit to Coach Brock, defensive coaches, to have the guys that prepared. You do not see seven to three football games very often. Now, I did look up at one time, I saw Ohio State Penn State was 10 6 at the button points. So I don't know what finished, but, uh, you know, to, to have a turnover on a first drive, right? So the opponent starts deep in your territory. Obviously, sudden change situation like that, you're just trying to hold them to a field goal. I mean, obviously, you can get a turnover that's special, but you're trying to hold them three points. Did just that, shut them out the rest of the game. Uh, as tremendous credit to the defense for their performance today. Obviously, Woody was banged up coming into this game, gets banged up again there you know, early in the game, comes back in the second half. Just what do you continue to see from him and his toughness of kind of battling through some of these injuries? He's a football player. He's a football player, right? You try to take him out, hey, go get checked up on. Next play you look back, he's out, he's out there, right? And so uh, it's, it's, it's good to have guys like that in your program. How did, you, how did you just see Mike sort of maybe command the huddle, not just today, but in the, in the week leading into, into the game and, and sort of stepping into that role and, and again, being a guy with experience both? With I, well, I think you just answered it, right? I think I read somewhere, I'll probably get the number wrong, but he's had 11 previous starts in the SEC games as a quarterback. So this is not something new to him. He's not a freshman, you know, facing his first road test ever. He, I mean, he's ready for the, he was ready for the opportunity, excited about it. I think I heard him. Uh, in a locker room pregame, kind of giving a, a speech to the team and had them going. Certainly a lot, had them certainly a lot more fired up than I tend to get them going with my speeches. So I have to let them keep doing it. Anything else? Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Hale State.